Hello again, everyone. This is Randy, your sewing machine man. And what we have is a Janome 2212. Today we're looking at a Janome 2212 because Christmas is coming up. And my customers are calling and asking, what can I get for a reliable sewing machine that doesn't break the bank? That'll be for a good beginner or maybe a second machine for a quilter to take to the quilt retreat. A good little machine that will hold up under reasonable use. You know, we're not going to try to do something crazy like make a saddle with it. But one that has good components and, you know, all the machines nowadays, you can pick them apart, run them in the ground, and just throw them away. But some people want to spend $200 and just get a new machine in a box they can wrap, put under the Christmas tree for that special person in their life who's sewing learning to sew or needs a backup machine extra machine i recommend this one right here mainly because it's a 15 class system you know that's my favorite 15 class system the only drop-ins i like are the old singer slantomatics 401 500 etc but this has a standard 15 class bobbin everything in here is chrome plated or nickel plated anyhow it's plated steel it's good stuff uh, so many of them nowadays have the drop-in with the plastic bobbins or the, the plastic bobbins and bobbin cases and hooks. Everything's plastic. Plastic bobbin cases are okay. Plastic bobbins are okay, but a plastic hook is a non-starter. And I have a video back about the Janome actually, that is a plastic hook assembly. The needle hits it, game over. This one, the needle hits it. This is a customer's. I serviced it for them. And they've been taking good care of the machine. It's a nice little machine. And it had some needle hits on the hook. Nothing critical. They polished right out. Uh, the needle plate had a couple of hits on it. Polished right out. The back of the presser foot with the needle hit it. Polished right out. Because they're made out of steel. So you can mitigate the problem and get them going. This machine has, uh, you know, number four. Self-adjusting tension on four. Three, four, five is the zone. Has a lay-in threading that they all have. It has a metal bobbin winder. A metal bobbin winder not a plastic one and you don't take anything for granted nowadays because anything they can make out of plastic they're putting plastic so when it has a metal bobbin wand you think well let's go buy this machine because the very next edition of the 2212 maybe it's gonna be a 2244 or something whatever they call it this may be plastic all the brothers are plastic a lot of the singers are plastic so you know everybody's going to plastic so if you go to Walmart and get a singer or a brother you could have done better if you got this guy right here, it's got all the built-in stitches, the four-step buttonhole, the overlocks, the uh, the surging overlock, double double overlock, single overlock. It's got the surging stitch. It's got the rick rock rick rack zigzag, hem stitch, three-step zigzag, which is really nice for elastic. Here's your stretch stitch, one through four, between two and three. That's your uh, about ten stitches per inch. It does it religiously. One dial for the selection, one dial for the width and length, and uh, over here is your reverse, and you get this baby all serviced up and get it together, and you step on the gas, and what does it do? I was like it's supposed to. It's a great machine. It'll make a good gift. They come in at around 200 bucks. You can get them online, walmart.com, everybody.com has them. 200 bucks is the strike price. 189 I think I saw them for, but around 200 bucks. Get it. Sew on stuff that, you know, garments, shirts, and blouses, and jammies, and pillowcases. It'll last you a long time. Good little machine, easy to service. You can get to everything, and uh, I recommend it. It's the Janome 2212.